Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over Misty Island. Misty Island is located southeast of Sandover Village. When viewing the island from Samos's hut, you can see the thick mist that encases the island. Samos tasks us with stopping the lurkers trying to open up the silo with the cannon, with a couple of variations to the cutscene. Oh, it's the conquering heroes. Good. I wanted to talk with you two about something serious. There appears to be quite a bit of lurker activity on Misty Island. I can see them bombarding the precursor silo from my lookout tower. If the lurkers open it up and release the dark eco, we could all end up running around looking as ridiculous as this annoying little specimen. Jack, it's time for you to prove your worth. Get the fisherman to let you take his boat back to Misty Island. Get to the top of the precursor silo and take out that cannon. And what about me? You? Why don't you mop my floors? They seem to have lost their shine lately. The bombardment is getting worse. Find the fisherman in the jungle, get permission to use his boat, and get over to Misty Island to stop the cannon. And you, Dexter, you need to get mopping. This place is a mess. We are also tasked by the sculptor to find his muse who ran away to Misty Island. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? And talking to Kira, she lets us know that she can teleport the Agrav Zuma to the transpad located on Misty Island. Hey baby, what you working on? Be careful with that! I'm trying to figure out how to transport the Zoomer using the transpads the precursors left all over the world. If you come across one of these pads, I can lock onto your communicator's location and send you the Zoomer. Keep an eye out for a transpad when you explore Misty Island, and wherever else you go. I've definitely figured out how to use the transpads. Now go to Misty Island and I'll send the Zoomer over to you. To get to Misty Island, we need to seek out the fisherman in Forbidden Jungle to get his permission to use his boat. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you with Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. Is want to try the challenge. Here comes a big one. You did it! You caught 200 pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. Once you get to Misty Island, you will reach a beach area full of dirt rather than sand, with some very large skeletons from unknown creatures. When climbing the rocks to reach the next area, you will see even more bones, rocky cliffs and mud pools, one of which a quicksand lurker inhabits. This is also where you'll first encounter the bone armor lurker. The muse is also in this area, and you can chase her around the cliffs and bones. One of the more unique bones here is the skull. It is extremely large, with horns, spikes and teeth. Continuing along the left path, we will come to a bay. This is where you can find the balloon lurkers with their mines floating around here.
A large wooden fence surrounds the bay, where you can find wooden ramps built across rocks. This is also where you can find the transpad where Kira will send you the Agrav Zuma, for use around in this bay. One of the more notable things in this bay is another very large skullington. This skullington is more complete than the others, showing the skull, spine and feet. The skull of this one is slightly different to the previous one mentioned, as the horns behind the eyes are slightly different. The horns on top are also gone, but the skull appears to be broken in this place. This skullington also has feet. The bones are conjoined together, possibly indicating that these were once flippers, along with four very large claws. We also find the lurker ship docked here, with a very tall walkway connecting it to an upper level where the barrels get sent down from. I have made a more in-depth overview of the lurker ship along with other topics which you can find too. Returning to the start of Misty Island, this time going to the right, we find a series of stone monoliths with very dense swirling mist below. These contain more bones, including ones you can break to form a bridge, and multiple mud pools where the quicksand lurkers reside. One of these also has a precursor platform that can be activated to reach a power cell. In this same area there is also a rock cliff face with protrusions that allow you to walk across. Part of this walkway will crumble away when you walk across it, as will other parts of the lower section of this area. Along this cliff face there is also an opening that overlooks the bay. At the end of this section we reach a large precursor structure with a door that can be opened with a nearby eco. Once inside you will be ambushed by a lot of lurkers. Take them all out and some stairs will raise up allowing you to reach another section of this precursor structure. It's an ambush Jack! It's an ambush! Get the red eco! The red eco makes your attack stronger! <laughs> The lower platform where the ambush takes place is actually a very large dark eco silo the lurkers are trying to open up for Golden Mire. After climbing the stairs that have been raised, you might recognise this next area as the area Jack knocked Daxter into the dark eco, resulting in his transformation into an otzel. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy, but if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! This area has a smaller dark eco silo that is open, allowing for unsuspecting people to be pushed in. Around this silo we have lurker structures. These appear to be collecting the dark eco from the open silo. Following the structures up to the top, we see the barrels being sent down to the lurker ship in the bay below. 
We can also find the cannon the lurkers are using to try and open up the large silo. Opposite the precursor door we entered through, there is another we can use to leave. Through the door we are back to the island, with the dead trees, rocks, bones and mud pools. This area has another large skeleton, this time showing off more of the spine, but it still looks incomplete, showing off just how big these creatures could have been. Below the skeleton we find a beach area, if you can call it a beach. Not much is down here, apart from a few orbs and dead trees. Going along the path there is a raised section on the left that can be reached by using the seesaw here by propelling yourself up. At the top we can get another view of the bay below. Continuing on we reach a very large mud pool. You can reach the other side by knocking over the bone to make a bridge. Just be careful of the quicksand lurkers below. This takes us to the final section of Misty Island, a fairly open area with some rocks where the lurker ship is docked. And that brings us back around to the other side of the bay. Misty Island contains 8 power cells, 150 precursor orbs, and 7 scalp flies. It is also home to the barbuck, bone armor lurker, quicksand lurker, and lurker shark. Misty Island does a good job at setting a creepy atmosphere, but at the same time can be quite bland with just rocks and bones everywhere. But the bay and silo sections provide very redeeming qualities as they provide very interesting areas to explore that tie into the game's overarching story. And that's my overview of Misty Island. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.